Okay, so looking at this, first of all, it's it's funny because I always wanted to animate a guy uh, with uh, with his wings attached to it. I always thought that would be really funny to do. So it's fun. It's fun to see here. I love it. There are a couple of technical things that I would mention, but it's overall really, really good. <laughs> I love how he falls. I love the the dramatic coming in here. Just a couple of things, but it's overall really good. All right. So my thing is, this is great. I like how it's all staged up, and then he starts off. So when he's here, a couple of things for silhouettes. I'm not too sure if you want to have his arm here in front of the the wing arm you know and if that's if that's on purpose to make it all flow like one shape you know my thought would have been maybe you could have that hand in front of it in front of this color so you can see clear definition if you have it like this it almost feels like he, that arm is attached to the wing and he's going to be moving you know it's as if you want to have that that thing higher so it's his arms driving the thing which it is not so, and given that you have it like this here, I think you might be okay with putting that arm a bit lower. I would also put his, I don't know if you, are you mimicking his finger so that it mimics that? Is that part of it? My thought would be what if you have it like this, but you actually put his, um, his fingers together. That'd be something. It's just something about how this overlaps and then you got this out with this shape here. I'm not too sure about that one. I would try just a couple shapes to see, or maybe just make it lower and then here have your your fingers out that way you have a nice curve you know in your shape here and the same thing over there but that's that's my second point and that way you have that arm here so you don't have that weird silhouette break with just the thumb coming out the other thing is I would mimic the same thing on this side where this is not so flat I think you can make this silhouette a bit cleaner by having it out just like that I mean you know it might be a bit flatter just to have a bit of contrast of shape but just not so flat here then, this is all cool. I love how it comes for it. So what I would do here is, on this, this feels a bit too IK, which you know roots usually are. But you're just going straight up and then straight over over there. And usually with a weight shift, there's still a certain arc to it. So this feels very straight. So give it just enough of an arc for him to come down here. And it feels like you're doing this. So even on the stop. And then down give it enough of a curve and an arc that's a good silhouette I like that but then once you go into this this could work I will probably bring the wings further back so we're really making sure that the balance is right because here is borderline off balance forward and here is definitely off balance and you're holding it fairly long so that it just feels a bit like well he should be already falling in so I will bring in the wings back. Maybe you want to have a tiny flap as like a balance adjustment. But if not, if that if, that, if you want to keep the wing flap as a surprise or you know a, a later reveal or introduction, uh, I will just bring this back. Maybe his arm back, maybe his head back a tiny bit so that it's there's a bit more balance introduced. I love this here though. I like how he falls here and maybe. Maybe those wings could be around here. So it's a more of an acceleration and you don't have such a big shape that suddenly just pops in and out. I think I would go on this frame, I would bring it lower, bring it around here. Then my thought on this was that this works, right? It goes up, goes up, but then it starts to cycle a lot. And it's kind of the same in terms of he's always going up and down, up and down, up and down, and it also lasts forever. I was expecting for him to do this and then maybe his wings break poof, 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 and then he kind of fall off and he goes what and then he falls down that's what I was expecting given how long this section is you know it goes on for a bit for quite a while but what I would do is as he comes up here which is great he does this and then once he gets to here I think you should continue with a little bit forward back forward back it could be going up or, or down doesn't matter but a little bit of Maybe, maybe a bit of down, you know, he tries to come up and now he's relaxing. So a little bit of up and down, up and down, up and down, left and right. So he's not so, not so stuck in just in this type of curves. I think on this, I like your overlap, but I think you can do a little bit of elbow in and out. 
to show the overlap and the drag and a tiny bit of head going up and down. So we s feel the force, the force of the wings going up and down. And it can also just pull. Imagine that's his body like this, right? And you have his guy here. Imagine this section going more up and down because it's the wings that go up and down, up and down, and they pull the chest up and down. So a bit more involvement in that. Um, Shape-wise for your wings, I think this works pretty well. You got the overlap going down here to drag. I think you might go a bit lower at the beginning at least to get him so it's a bit stronger in the flaps and the higher he gets the softer to get so have this a bit more straighter flat down and then go into your bends and then get into the fold up which you have here into the drag and then this so I think this is too early I think you can go all the way down to here and then you break it and then you go like this and then you go like that which you have into that just so there are a bit more powerful shapes this just does not feel as powerful i think you can really go straighter and again you can go less and less and less until he hits this thing that would be for me uh the only technical point this is a purely just an idea point my thing is he looks like he is in charge of the wings as they go up like he is driving the wings so that when he goes down here, at this point, it feels like he is not driving the wings anymore. And the wings have a life on their own and they are kind of rescuing him. And then he goes, oh, wait, oh, wait, this is actually working. And I know it's a, it's a, it's a silly, little, silly little thing, but I'm just wondering if that feels more like the wings are now, are now separate in terms of... of not intelligence, but you know they're doing their own thing while he's just reacting to it. Uh, and I wonder if if you could set that up in this here, where you know, and again it might be silly, but what if he stands here and then he kind of waits and then he turns his head looking back behind his back, and then the wings go up, and it's like he's telling the wings, "Okay, come on, it's time to go," and then they go up, and then he later on brings up his hands. To, f to match that pose. Okay, well, I guess we're both ready. And then, let's go. And the other thing is, why would he... If he's ready with the steps, uh, with the wings, why would he take a step? There's just something about this section where, you know, maybe... I think if you have that beginning of him w looking back, telling the wings to get up, and then it's him taking the step down, hoping that the wings will take over. You know, if he is... If he's in charge of his wings, I would almost have like a little squat and he jumps out with his arms out, but then his wings don't follow and they go, what the hell? And then he falls down, you know, just a simple thing. But I think maybe that beginning might change, that beginning change might be warranted to make this uh, work better. But again, this is just me. This might be just a silly little comment. I'm not too sure. Uh, just let me know. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whatever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.